Hey guys, Joe Wendell from JLW Games playing Theme Park Studio, and yes, it's finally here. The moment we've been all all been waiting for for a couple months now. Phase two is finally among us. So a couple things I want to show you guys is some of the buttons that are now available to us. This one right here, of course, animation, and this one up here, test park. So you can test your park and. Uh, I haven't messed with this really at all, so <laughs> this is going to be a failure. So, first off, we're going to go to uh, flat rides. And as you can see, there are a couple new flat rides. We now have the swings. Uh, we have this monster physics, whatever that is. Um, Cyclone, I think that one's been there. And we have the drop tower. So we have three new flat rides. So let's go ahead and drop the swings in here. And as you can see, maybe Theme Park Studio don't crash. There it goes. We got a chair swing right here. <clears throat> now, I was a little confused of how to get this moving. And you simply just click Test Park, I think it is. And boom, you have guests on it too. So I was surprised to see that guests were actually on the ride. So that was cool. I think it's neat that we can actually get to interact with them. And they actually look really, really good. I'm not going to be a lie. going to lie. They actually look pretty realistic. I mean, look at these. are so happy. Now, I wish they had a little bit more animations to them because they all do the same thing. And, you know, uh, I hope they add audio, too. I'm not sure if they're going to add some audio to the game or not. But right now... There's no sound of this moving, there's no one screaming, so um, I know it's still early, and the guests are still an early build too, so this isn't the final look at the guests as well. But it was cool that, that they can throw guests on there, so that's awesome. So we're going to click that. So yeah, now our rides are moving, they're really cool. Um, you got that. And I'm not, I don't know if all these are going to work. I'm not sure if this one actually animates or not. The hay baler. We'll find out when I click it down here. I'm not sure if this one actually is animated because it doesn't say animated on it. So let's take a look. People get on this, on this one. Yeah, nope. There's no one on this one, so maybe this one's still being worked on for the pre prefabricated animation on the Barnstorm ride right here. So this one's not available. As you can see, all of them added animation at the end of their title, the ones that are animated. Some, so some of them are not animated yet. So I don't know. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And you're supposed to be able to create your own animations now. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to do this, but we're going to try it out. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, I, I looked at a, a little bit on the video on how to do this. I don't really know at all. So we're just. I'm just going to play with this. I'm just messing around. Um, let's go ahead and find an object. Scenery. Where's my scenery? Custom scenery. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've messed with the scenery. Custom scenery. Let's go ahead and just drop in something random here. This will work. So we'll drop this in here. Maybe if it wants to come up. Yeah, it takes so long for stuff to come up. That's the only gripe about this game. It's not really laggy, it's just when you click or play something or choose something it's like ridiculous okay so now we have that down um, so that's that and you're supposed to click on animation and editor so I don't really know how to work this Let's see we got our little animation editor box here uh, you can record so I'm guessing what is this? I guess those are your frames. 
And you're supposed to be able to, like, have a frame from here to somewhere else, and, and it's supposed to move to how you change it. So let's... What happens when we click record? That... Zero is reserved. Oh, so you change this. So if I move it over here and click record, if we go back to the first one and play it, does it move? Maybe? No? Man, I must have messed up. Like I said, I don't know how to do this, so... I probably messed it up or something. <clears throat> so... Record that. See, and then it says zero is reserved. When I'm on frame one. I don't under I don't know what that means, so... Um, sub-object. What's that mean? Um... Uh, oh! Oh gosh, no. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. So that lets you, allows you to move different pieces of the... There, okay. Uh, I don't want to do that, so let's unclick on that one. I want it all as one. <clears throat> so, there's that keyframe. Two, okay. There's that. Record. Um. That's keyframe one. Okay. Maybe I can get the start keyframe two. Can go right there. You click record. Is is that is that what's going on here? Oh man, I don't know what I'm doing. Um. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, so... But I just thought I'd throw a video out here at you guys on Phase 2 here, uh, but... Uh, video went a little longer than I thought. It's over 7... That's alright, though. Um, so Phase 2 is out. I'm just showing you guys a little bit on Phase 2. Like I said, I do not know what I'm doing. Obviously, I don't know how to create my own animations that well. So, um... Yeah, I'll figure it out for you guys, and I'll have another video coming out at you. I just wanted to create a video showing you guys a little bit of Phase 2. So, <clears throat> yep, and there's that, and that, and that. So, that's pretty much all it is, is the animation on the rides now, and now you can animate your own objects, too, which I think is gonna be freaking sweet but i want to thank you guys for watching this has been jlw games i'll come out with another video here pretty soon once i know what i'm doing so thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys later have a nice day